Captain William Cook seizes contraband gold from the French privateer Francois Henri Arreville near Brunswick, North Carolina in 1793. The revenue cutter Eagle chases and captures the French privateer Mon Père during the Quasi War. The revenue cutter Vigilant captures the British privateer Dart in a night engagement off Block Island on October 4, 1813. The cutter McLean and other cutters sail past Fort Pinckney, enforcing revenue laws in Charleston Harbor, 1833. The revenue cutter Harriet Lane forces the merchant steamer Nashville to show its colors during the attack on Fort Sumter, April 13, 1861. On May 11, 1862, the Revenue Cutter Miami supports the landing of federal troops at Ocean View, Virginia, and within hours, Norfolk, Virginia is in Union hands. The Revenue Cutter Morris repairs to board the passenger ship Benjamin Adams on July 16, 1861. Ida Lewis, keeper of the Lime Rock Lighthouse, rescues two men on March 29, 1869. The Cutter Bear loads the first reindeer introduced into Alaska to provide added subsistence to the diets of Native Americans. The All Black Pea Island Life Saving Crew rescues passengers and crewmen off the schooner E.S. Newman during a hurricane on October 11, 1896. The Cutter Hudson prepares to tow the disabled Winslow beyond enemy fire at the Battle of Cardenas, Cuba, May 11, 1898. Surfman Rasmus S. Midget single-handedly rescues 10 people from the grounded Priscilla. He was later awarded the Gold Life Saving Medal, the highest award bestowed by the Secretary of the Treasury. The Coast Guard Cutter Seneca places a damage control crew on board the torpedo tanker Wellington in an attempt to keep it from sinking on September 16, 1918. The Coast Guard Cutter Haida and the Lighthouse Tender Cedar prepare to rescue the passengers and crew from the sailing vessel Star of Falkland near Unamak Pass, Alaska on May 23, 1928. The Nantucket Lightship number 117 is sunk in heavy fog by the passenger liner Olympic on May 15, 1934. The United States Coast Guard Cutter Taney fires at Japanese aircraft at Pearl Harbor, December 7, 1941. Coast Guard Signalman First Class Douglas A. Monroe protects withdrawing Marines at Guadalcanal. Douglas Monroe was killed and posthumously awarded the Congressional Medal of Honor. In 1957, the Coast Guard icebreaking cutter Storis and the buoy tenders Bramble and Spar navigate through the ice attempting to find a Northwest Passage.